new report suggests that drivers may see higher premiums for their electric vehicles as the insurance industry adjusts to the shift from gas-powered cars. Let's get more into the numbers right now with CTV National. Scott Hurst is live this morning. Scott, I'm curious what's mm-hmm. causing these higher premiums on EVs because I thought they were actually harder to steal. Well, good morning, Nick and Jen. Mm-hmm. Let's put two cars side by side to compare here. You have electric vehicles and the traditional gas-powered vehicles. With the electric vehicle, you can't just pop the hood and tinker and kind of fix a few things as you go. Of course, for EVs, they might have lower day-to-day maintenance costs, but these are complex machines. These are computer parts and these are batteries on wheels. So if those get damaged or need to be replaced, that's much more costly. So you might not have the day-to-day maintenance costs, but the repair is complex and quite expensive. And a current shortage of trained technicians could leave EV owners with longer wait times and higher repair bills overall, in turn increasing the cost of claims. This new report from global credit rating agency Morningstar DBRS shows insurers may have to adjust to these trends over the years and decades to come, and that could mean increased premiums as more and more people. The uptake of electric vehicles continues to grow, particularly, Nick and Jen, as electric vehicle mandates come into effect across Canada. Okay, and Scott, how are drivers, you know, even supposed to prevent these Mm -hmm. premiums from going higher? Well, right now they're not significant because the percentage of electric vehicles isn't significant, so it's not a cross Canada issue where EV, um, where the cost of EV premiums is driving up things for Canadians coast to coast. The bigger concern right now for premiums is inflation and the ongoing issue of auto theft. Those are really driving factors for premiums right now. Yeah, they certainly are. All right, CTV National Scott Hurst reporting live for us. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.